Today I'm diving back into Bloodborne on PC using the Shad PS4 emulator. The challenge I've set for myself is to get this game running smoothly on a PC that's technically below the recommended specs. And believe me, that's no easy feat. At the moment, emulating Bloodborne comes with one major headache, memory leaks. This means that unless you have a beefy rig, your game will crash sooner or later. If you have at least 16 gigabytes, you can survive, but 32 gigabytes is definitely the safest bet. Another thing to watch out for is your video memory. Certain points in the game can suddenly spike memory usage, causing crashes, especially if your GPU only has 8 gigabytes. If you notice the game consistently crashing in a specific area, try looking at the ground. This can actually save you from a crash. Ideally, you should use a GPU with 12 gigabytes of VRAM to avoid these issues as much as possible. As you can see in the top right corner, I've listed the patches and mods I'm using to improve performance. Thanks to these tweaks, I've managed to achieve frame rates that range between 30 and 60 FPS depending on the area of the game. This is a huge improvement compared to what I showed in my last video. Now let's be realistic, there's still no way to completely avoid the crashes. Unfortunately, they're happening quite frequently, and I can only play for a few minutes at a time. But hey, progress is progress, right? I'll leave the version of Shad PS4 I'm using in a pinned comment so you can try it out. I hope this helps you get Bloodborne up and running too. There's still a lot of work to be done before I can get Bloodborne running smoothly on my old PC. Besides the constant crashes and the unstable frame rates, I'm also facing some random graphical glitches that show up out of nowhere, making the experience pretty unpredictable. Now I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos where people manage to get the game running with what I'd call acceptable gameplay. But to be honest, even in those videos, it's still far from perfect. No matter how well you tweak the settings, we're still dealing with frame drops, messed up textures, and of course, the inevitable crashes that just take the game down after a few minutes. For those of you out there with modern GPUs, I'm talking about an RTX 4070 or something more powerful, you have a lot more options. You can start adding advanced graphical mods like Reshade, which enhances the lighting and shadows, or go with high resolution textures that make everything look way crisper. You can even throw in dynamic shadows to really bring the game to life. But the catch is all these mods require serious hardware. If you're working with anything below a 4070, you're probably going to run into some of the same issues I'm dealing with right now. In my case, I'm trying to run Bloodborne on a PC that's way below the recommended specs, so the challenge here is to squeeze out every bit of performance I can from a less powerful system. And I know a lot of you guys are in the same situation, trying to make the best of what you have. We can tweak the settings, adjust the performance mods, but still, we're battling against things like FPS drops, constant crashes, and even weird visual artifacts that just seem to pop up for no reason. At this point, it's safe to say that Bloodborne on PC is still a big challenge, especially for those of us with lower-end rigs. But I'm not giving up. I'll keep testing and tweaking, and hopefully we'll find a way to make the game run smoother. Every little adjustment teaches us something new, but we're still not quite there yet in terms of getting a fully playable experience on older hardware. If you're thinking of trying this yourself or if you've got a similar PC setup, my advice is be patient. This whole process takes a lot of trial and error, and sometimes you run into problems you didn't even expect. But with the right tweaks and a bit of perseverance, we're slowly getting closer to a playable experience, even if it's far from perfect. So, if you're in the same boat as me trying to run Bloodborne on an older PC, just know that it's possible, but you'll face a lot of obstacles along the way. I'll keep experimenting and sharing my progress with you guys, so stay tuned for updates. If you found this video helpful, or just enjoyed coming along for the ride, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps me keep going, and I've got more tips and tricks for optimizing performance on the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.